everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a fabulous day so far today I've created this 100% drugstore makeup tutorial that you can wear really for any occasion um, you can glam it up or glam it down use fake lashes or not I decided to use fake lashes today all of the products that I use can be found at a Walmart Target CVS Walgreens Ulta and that half that's drugstore um, so if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching so I'm gonna start with my brows and I'm gonna use the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade espresso clean up my brows, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer Corrector with the e.l.f. Concealer Brush. So today I'm going a little out of sequence than I usually would. Usually I do my eyes and then my face. But since we're not doing something super duper crazy, I'm going to start with my face and to prime it, I'm going to use the NYX Studio Perfecting Photo Loving Primer in green. Underneath my foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade 1 Sunbeam. This is going to go on the places where I would usually highlight my face with a powder, so I'm going to put it on my cheekbones. Um, probably my cupid's bow and my nose. For now, I'm going to avoid above the brow or below it, and we're going to go from there. For foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in the shade 110 Porcelain. I'm going back in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer Corrector, the same one that I use underneath my brows. anything else I'm gonna set my concealer with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 01 Transparent and to do that I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush brush and now with the e.l.f. Kabuki face brush I'm taking that same Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just gonna buff that lightly all over my face For my eyes today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Blushed Nudes Palette. This is my first time ever using it. I'm going to pick up a Morphe B81 brush and also pick up this color right here, kind of a neutral brown, and I'm going to buff that into my crease. Next I'm picking up a Morphe S21 brush and this shade right here and I'm going to put that into my crease but first I'm going to focus it on the outer area and then start to blend it inwards. With a small pointed NYX detailer brush, I'm going to take that same brown shade and put that on my lower lash line. With a Morphe B42 brush, I'm going to pick up this shade right here and put that on the very outer corner of my eyes just to add a little bit more definition. Thank you. 
Using the same NYX small detailer brush, I'm going to take that darkest brown shade that we just used and put that on the outer third of my lower lash line. Using a Morphe S28 shader brush, I'm going to pick up the dark pink in the palette, this one right here, and I'm going to place that on pretty much my whole eyelid. Using the same Morphe S28 brush, I'm going to pick up this light pink shade here and place that on the inner half of my eyelid. I'm going to take this Morphe B19 brush and this white shade and use this as my inner corner highlight. Now I'm going to use this Palladio liquid eyeliner in the shade Black Brown. And by the way, you can find this eyeliner at Sally Beauty or at Ulta. Now I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara for my upper and lower lashes. So now I'm just going to go apply some Ardell Wispies and I will be right back. To open up my eyes just a little bit more, I'm using this white Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil. To bronze up my face, I'm going to use the Hard Candy Bronzer in the shade Heat Wave with an e.l.f. complexion brush. To contour my face, I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade 720A with a Morphe M405 brush. So for blush, I'm going to use this Pink BH Cosmetics brush with this Wet n Wild Ombre blush in the shade The Princess Dyer Queries. For my highlight today, I'm actually going to be using an eyeshadow. This is a Maybelline single in the shade Champagne Fizz. Yeah, Champagne Fizz. And I'm going to use a NYX fan brush for that. So now I'm going to give you two lip options. The first one is using the Jordana Lip Liner in Baby Berry along with this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Lust for Blush. Alright, so this is lip option number one. For lip option number two, I'll use the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips Rock and Rose Lip Liner along with this Maybelline lipstick again. It's in shade 920 Nude Lust. And on top of that, for a gloss, since this one is more matte, I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. Alright guys, so this is lip option number two and also the end of the tutorial. So thanks for watching the whole video. If you liked the video and the makeup, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and let me know what you think. If you like lip option number one or number two, because I'm kind of still deciding. So that's all for now and I'll see you guys in my next video.